everybody. How's everybody doing today? It's December 5th, Sunday, December 5th, 2021 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Um, this is the calm before the storm. It's coming a little sooner than, than, than I thought. Um, so what we got going is we have something coming in tomorrow night. Uh, this kind of popped up a little bit later, but yes, we have something coming in tomorrow night and it's gonna be just be a little bit of light drizzle and maybe overnight we might get a couple snowflakes, but it doesn't look like that much. It appears the snow accumulations are gonna be less than an inch up here in the Big Bear area. But as soon as that little disturbance exits out of our area, right behind it, we have a chance for a few inches of snow, which that should start really late Wednesday night into Thursday, but it could, it could hold off till, till Thursday. But yeah, from Thursday to Friday, we got another system coming through and that's the one that, that, that we could get a couple inches from. So I'm looking forward to that for you guys to come up here and hit the slopes, man. Come enjoy the, the snow, the clean air, just have a great time. And then we got something else coming next week. It looks like, uh, like Monday and Tuesday. We have another chance for another storm, kind of like Thursday and Friday's storm. I don't know what the significance will be in terms of the amount. However, it looks like we're, we're only going to get a, a few inches again from that storm, but that's okay. That's okay. At least we're getting weather. Uh, my car, there's a problem with my car. I'm taking it in right now to the shop or I'm, I'm dropping it off at the shop tonight. Sorry about Hang that. Guys. So yeah, I'm taking my car to the shop. There's something under my hood rattling and I don't know what it is. And it's not like I drive this car like a schmuck. I really don't. But dropping it off tonight and I begged my friend to please do what he can uh, just to get the car done by tomorrow evening so we have it for the snowstorm so that's what's going on hope all you guys are doing good hope you guys had a great holiday great Thanksgiving with your families um, yeah I hope everything's going good for everybody this is just the, the calm before the storm um, I'm, I'm not going to do another calm before the storm before Thursdays because it's just, it's just so, these are right on top of each other. And as I said, it doesn't appear to be like much, but it's, it, it's going to be the most we've had this season. So that's good. So we're looking forward to that. But yeah, this is what Big Bear looks like right now. There's a, there's a big exodus of people leaving. So for a couple days, this town's going to be extraordinarily quiet. I always suggest if you guys want to come up here for the quiet times, come up here for the snowstorms during the week if you can, because most people have to work and it's, it, it's a lot harder for most people to come up here during the week. So for those of you who are like me, who like solitude a lot of times, I'm telling you that's the best time. I might even rent a hotel for, uh, let's see, like Wednesday night, Thursday night and Friday night. And I'm also going to be doing time lapses for all the storms too. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. I'm going up to Sugarloaf right now. Just doing just just doing a little drive around town real quick for you guys. It's that time of year. The main purpose of the calm before the storm videos is typically so you can see what town looks like right before the storm and then right afterwards, just how much it transforms. It's just so unbelievably beautiful. Here's Big Bear High School to the right. It's really, really bright. Oh my God, it's really bright. Yeah. There's the cemetery right there. So we are on Maple. We are on Maple. Now we're gonna drive into Sugarloaf a little bit and then we'll forget it, forget about it, we'll do that. So, you guys, I'm feeling so much better. My dad called me in some antibiotics. And for those of you that really, really care, um, he called me in some antidepressants too. <sighs> but it is what it is. Oh my God. So, even though I've only been on the antidepressants for like a week, I feel like something's already happening. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I like it or not. It's like I, I've been so used to feeling so miserable that that was my comfort zone, which is kind of strange. But it's like, the, it feels like my negative emotions aren't like coming to the surface like they used to so, so rapidly. Like they're being stuffed down. 
and I just feel like such a wuss because I'm not I'm not working on on my on my issue but you know what though I can't think of it as like I'm I'm not strong because you know what a lot of people have to take these meds and then they'll get better then they'll start doing more but I was in a, a bad spot you guys here we're just gonna drive through here real quick I was in a bad spot and you guys all your love and support has pushed me through so much and I'm just so thankful for you guys I have so much love for you guys hang on a moment okay I gotta take this call Sorry about that guys. So I shouldn't be driving my car this much right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that under the hood. Hold on, listen. I, if I turn the wheel a bunch, there's like something rattling under there. My sway bar broke like a year ago or nine months ago and I rushed it to my friend's shop and he fixed it right away. But that was money that it cost me when it, I don't think it should have broken. But he told me that he he fixed it and should and, and it's stronger than factory now, is what he said. So I'm hoping all this sound is not from the sway bar. <laughs> but yeah, what a cool dude. Let let me take take my car in right away and he'll get right on my car. That's just so cool, you guys. Because this guy is so busy. He is so busy. You have to call and make like long-term appointments typically. For like just like standard services and stuff so anyway we're on highway 38 or coming up to highway 38 here this is where a lot of you come into town from down in like mentone yukaipa redlands area from this side and it's uh it's a little bit longer of a drive to get up here guys but it's the way that i send my mom because i want her to be safe I, I get road rage. I really do, and I need to. I need to be careful. <sighs> Seriously, I'm feeling so much better, you guys. Thank you guys for all, all the comments that you guys left me. Seriously, you guys are so important to me. You guys have no idea what you mean to me. I love getting comments from you guys. Seriously, and with all these other actions I'm taking to better myself so I can be the best version of me for others as well, it's, it's like with everything going on right now and all the love you guys show me, I think what you guys do for me is paramount to everything. Just all the love, man. It's just crazy cool. And I feel the same way about you guys. So yeah, we're on Highway 38. We're about to turn on to Highway 18 here. starts I'm recording I don't wait for it to be snow so it's probably gonna start off as rain but I'm always updating oh, man. yeah I feel so much better not a hundred percent but I'm telling you I feel like a hundred percent compared to how I felt a couple days ago just want to thank you guys again for all the support it's been so incredible for all the storms for these first two because there's only a few hours break in between these two little disturbances I'm just gonna keep it as as one time lapse so I'll probably have to speed it up quite a bit which is fine I'm wondering how long I should do the intervals for because I like a really good time lapse like like of like days of snow to be like six six minutes or something. 
just to get a, just a really good perspective. But I don't know how to use the time lapse calculator and stuff like that. I've been trying to educate myself on how to do it, but maybe I am as dumb as I look. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying, man. But yeah, super stoked to get this this season going. And uh, as we're about to drive by one of my good friends' shops up here, this guy, guys, he and his family, they, they deserve so much business. They are such good people. And he's got the cutest little daughter named Amina. And his name is Sahil. He owns Big Bear Smoke and Vape. And they have two shops, you guys. They have this shop right up here on the right-hand side. So as you pass Green Greenway right there, that street called Greenway, it's about a block up here on the right-hand side. It's on the bottom floor of this two-story building. You'll see Big Bear Smoke and Vape right there. You guys, not only like was I surprised that his prices for everything in the store is less than it is down the hill because I'm so used to uh, paying usurious rates for stuff up here just because they know you're not going to drive down so just charge you more. Uh, he isn't like that. He actually, he's one who realizes that it takes tourism to keep us going up here. And if we freaking rob you guys like that, like why would you want to come back? And then we're not going to have anybody to help support our economy. So that's a, that's a huge reason why I love that guy is he saves us the trip down the hill. He has everything in that little shop, souvenirs of, of Big Bear, everything. It's And as I said, the most important part is he's a wonderful father and an awesome husband. Like he's a good dude. He's a good dude. So any anytime I can ever refer anybody to Big Bear Smoke and Vape, I do all the time. I actually carry the guy's business cards with me to hand out just to do that because he is such a wonderful person. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys. I got this half of this huge bag left, but hang on a second. This is boom, boom, boom. Big bear smoking vape. Seriously, guys, this is one of my friends and he's a good dude. He's a good dude. He genuinely just wants other people to be stoked. And uh, there's uh, there's so much I'm grateful for when it comes to him. So anyway, guys, kind of getting into the sunset time of the evening here. It's 4:10 p.m. 52 degrees. In a few hours, I'm gonna have to go drop my car off at the shop. I'm so nervous about what the bill's gonna be. So nervous. But he's my friend, so I trust him. And as I've told all of you, I trust him so much. When you guys are up here, if you ever have any car issues and you take it to his shop, if you feel like you're being ripped off, contact me and I'll pay for your service. Like it's I I guarantee you he's not gonna rip you off. He might not be the most expensive up here, he might not be the least expensive up here, but I assure you. He does the best he absolutely can and he doesn't cut any corners so we'll see we'll see how this works out tomorrow and then tomorrow might have to be an all-nighter for me because I don't think we're supposed to get any weather till really late and if it starts off as rain then I'm gonna be staying awake peeking out the window and at all my different ring doorbells just to see if it's changing over to snow and constantly focusing on my radars and stuff like that. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. But yeah, this is hopefully a good perspective for you guys to see town right now. There's there's a, a few people left, for sure. But traffic is not a nightmare like it just was. Oh, look at the sun. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's bright. B-R-I-G-H-T. I can spell. Look at me. Gosh, you guys, can you believe it? I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. Like, what the hell? Like, what? I've never asked in any of my videos for anyone to click subscribe or like or notifications, so that's just pretty cool. I mean, like, <laughs> it's really cool. Um, 
when I'm feeling down, which is a lot, <laughs> I try to think about that and think about all of you who have such an impact on my well-being every day. And I am so proud to give you guys that, that power because without you guys, I don't know where I would be. And gosh, I, I just wish, I wish I could. I wish I had the vocabulary to uh, to relate to you guys exactly how I feel, but I don't. It's beyond a good feeling. It's the most incredible feeling in the world. It, it compares to like love from a blood relative, and I never thought in my wildest dreams that I could ever be loved or f love somebody the same that you feel for blood relatives, like that kind of deep, unconditional type of love. And uh, you guys have showed it to me <laughs> that, you know, you guys put up with me and some of my antics and some, some of my behavior. But keep in mind, if you guys go back to my first few years, you guys have, have completely changed how I talk, just because women and children watch this channel now. And so the first couple years I was cursing like every other word. I didn't think anyone would watch the channel and it's it was mainly for me because when I get really sad and down and out, watching a snowstorm just always makes me feel better. So I was recording all these storms. I, I've never missed one in the seven years that I've lived here. Maybe that's where some of the uh, higher numbers of subscribers comes from. It's just super unreal. Thank you guys, I love you guys to death. Fantastic restaurant right here, Captain's Anchorage. Boom, love that place. A buddy of mine, Mike, owns Big Bear Bar and Grill. They're a great place too. I haven't said much about them lately, but when I met Mike, he's just such a neat person. Just a neat, neat guy. And anybody up here that busts their ass and takes risks, anything that my channel can do to help, that's what I want to do, because it means a lot to me to see people sacrificing so much and going through struggles and then o overcoming because it, it gives me hope and uh, yeah I love you guys I love you guys a lot I hope you enjoyed the calm before the storm I know I don't shut up but I want you guys to know I love you I love you very much I, I just wish that I wish we could all spend a lot of time together when you guys come up here I love it when you guys hit me up it means a lot to me because I always get a chance to go shake your guys' hands and it's very, very special to me. So when you guys are up here, typically I have the time. Drive through here real quick. All right, guys, I love you guys a lot. You take care and we're gonna exit out of here. Peace.